two off of President 2020. You know what's going on. Oh, uh, of course, drop a song for everything. Jay Taylor, what's that And we ready. Yeah. <laughs> what he do? Yeah. <laughs> Very special guest to this motherfucker. Man, President, man, 2020, yeah. 2024, 28, 32, 36. In my opinion, man, you one of the hottest uh, artists from North Mississippi right now. Thanks, out. Like, in my opinion, bro. Thanks, out. Like, that was social up. media buzz and all that. Say it one more time. You said one social of the hardest, bit, right? Yo, one of the hottest, hottest. He ain't say hardest now, so don't get in your feelings. He ain't say yeah. hardest. But I think I ain't. Well, no, too hot is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 Let's get the story, man. Let's talk about, like, all the way from the beginning, man. Take it back to the beginning, bro. Like, man, where you from, bro? Like, Shh, where you was born in, bro? How, how you grew up? Like, all that. Falcon, man. Falcon. Well, that's it, man. That's down in Quimby County, man. Birthday, Delta, first, man. Shout out Quimby County. Shout out Quimby County. Dirty Delta, Shout man. out Quimby County. Hey, man, 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 free. We just talking about tuna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, man, um, I come from Falcon, bro, like, it was the shit. Yeah. Used to be, you feel what I'm, you, you, you know, used to be. But like, now, nah, hey, what Drake say in the song? Your blood is like a ghost town. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. You feel like that shit. Yeah. Man, What bro. was it like back in the day? What, what changed, bro? What do you think changed this shit? Not that, not that I'm, not that I'm more wild and more mature. What changed is the thing that changed is people they just elevated. People with a mind and didn't want to stay there. They just elevated and like, man, hey, I'm gonna get up out of here. Feel me? But what really changed it all was a storm. You feel what I'm saying? With all the, uh, the storm changed everything, but you know what I'm saying. But you know, it ain't that that ain't really too too exciting to even talk about. You know what I'm saying? But it just did. Yeah, yeah. It's home though. It's home though. It's home. You know, I got a whole lot of memories to share about it. But right now, it ain't even. We ain't gonna even discuss fab. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. I mean, it ain't nothing else. Yeah. Ain't nobody finna go fab. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Nobody finna go to fire. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't even nothing else. Yeah. But what I can say and what I want to let them know is about where I come from. Like, it, it wasn't good as his look. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? It wasn't good as his look. Man, let me say that. I want to ask you this just if we on the topic. You know what I'm saying? No so, like, do you think, like, you know, most artists, we from Mississippi. Most people, like, and you ain't got to be an artist, though. Do you feel like you got to move to another state, a bigger city, like, to be successful? Cause I done been in Jackson, out here, niggas in Jackson talking about, man, we, man, we in Jackson, you know what I'm saying? This is the biggest city we got, and they saying the same thing. You go, like, Jackson ain't big enough, whoop the whoop, but, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man. like, do you, do you, like, think it matter where you at? Like, nah, do you really? nah, it's, it, it ain't about where you at, what you doing, it's how you doing. It's how you doing, cause man, I'm, I'm I'm glad we talking about that right now, because right now, Baseville, and I ain't like I don't mean no harm, Baseville got them in Mississippi that I the same when it come to just town, town, city to city, Baseville got some of the hot, best and the hardest artists, bro, that really actually out there, almost out there. You feel what I'm saying? Baseville got Fly Ridge, me, Trend, Shoot It Locked yeah, Up, Peep Skid, though, like, you know, feel what I'm saying? Man, I just talked to Shoot It today. Folks support y'all. Like, I was yeah. telling tell bro, like, y'all people support y'all. Like, I even man. told you that, like, y'all people, like, it support y'all hardest, though. It ain't even that our people support us, our city, it, it, it ain't even that our city support us. When you working together, People outside, you feel what I'm saying? People, the outsiders. Man, you, you'll be amazed who know you by your song, Love My Trout. You'll be amazed who know me in New York, Miami, anywhere, you feel what I'm saying? Because of that social media shit. But, like I was saying, in that our people, because in that case, everybody be riding around, bumping strictly our shit. You feel what I'm saying? 
it's the outside, it's the outside folk, and then when they see a city working together, folk working together, look at pool shot, the big third, you know, action pack, you know, that's all they talk about, you know what I'm saying, we, mm -hmm. y'all can do the same shit, y'all can do the same thing, excuse my life, y'all can do the same thing, you feel what I'm saying, but like I was saying, it's the outsiders, it's the outsiders in the work and the creativity we bring together, because one mind think better than I mean, not one man, but you know, you know what I'm going with it. Four think better than one, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Basefield got some of the, some of the hardest artists, bro. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like, For real. That's it. For real. So go back and uh, just let them know, like, how they can get your music and all that. Now, that was, now, here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. Now, here we go. Because that, that other shit. Where you come from, that shit the prison of hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Man, see, that rapping shit, bruh. Excuse my life, excuse my life. The rap, bruh. It go back a long way. It go back a long way for mm -hmm. When I say it go back a long way, they tell it go back a long way. I'm talking about. Now I remember nearly stomping in the rap for a while. Mm -hmm. Alright. You know, see, look, you know, back then, we had artists that inspired us. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Who's now, the, who, who's some of the artists that inspired you? Nelly, then, yeah. 50 okay. Cent, who still do 50 Cent. But that Nelly, Nelly was my dude, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. The band aid, yeah, yeah. do red. I ain't gonna lie, I had a band aid type. Nigga, I had a band aid. Nigga, I had a band aid. Nigga, I had a band aid. The Air Force, Air Force One. Man, man, man. 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 man, he had all this shit. Who you shit. seen first came out with that blue grill? Right, then they came four alpha. Like Nelly with that dude, man. Still yeah. live to me. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm still yeah. to me? Nelly, 50 Cent. Who I'm telling you who I really look Nelly, 50 Cent. Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, Lil yeah. Bow Wow. Romeo. Oh, yeah. uh, Master P. You feel what I'm saying? See, see, I came up on Mystical. Uh, all them uh, Master P and all these folks. Yeah. Cad Money. Man, I, I wait on 500 degrees. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They burning on the computer. Yeah. Man, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, like I was saying, it go back a long way, man. Now, I knew I was going, I knew I wanted to be a rapper. When How I was about, mm -hmm. when I was about six. When I was seeing all I, all I like was rap music, and I ain't want my music, I ain't want my stuff, I mean, with, with the cuss word blinking out, you know, you buy it out of Walmart, mm -hmm. and then you buy the CD yeah. out of Walmart. The you know what I'm saying? The cuss word, they blinking out. Man, I want mine dirty. You know what I'm saying? I want mine dirty. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. I'm going to tell you how, when I noticed they were selling dirty music, I mean, they were selling clean music in Walmart instead of dirty music. We bought an R. Kelly CD. Y'all remember that song two years ago? This is all I heard. You know what I'm saying? In one part, they were like, nigga. On the dirty version, but on the clean version in the video, they ain't said. So I think that I think the video and shit first. You know what I'm saying? So before I really just heard it on the radio. And I'm noticing, okay, they ain't. I'm thinking it just mm, just blank, you feel what I'm saying? I hear it in my cousin Nisa car. She had this little, she had got this little blue neon. I remember she got a new, you know what I'm saying? She, she, what, what, what? Do about what, bro? I will probably, I don't know how old I was. Four, five, had this blue, blue neon. Little hood cast on, I thought it was a ring. We ride, boom, <laughs> real talk. Real talk, I had the hood cast on, I thought it was a ring. We ride. Listen to this song, I just all met here, nigga. I'm like, oh, when I see the video again, cause you know, everybody had cable then. Yeah, yeah. We had cable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, my mom bought a cable, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, when I see the video again, I'm gonna see if they gonna say that. You know, look here, cute. So they ain't say it. And they smarter than you think. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They smarter than you think. You. But yeah, yeah. Oh, um, but anyway, there's a, there when I stop buying it. You know, I'm like, man, I don't want my, I don't want you buy no CD out of Walmart. Let go to, let go to. What's that? What's that store called over there in the hot tunes? 
Y'all yeah. remember Hot Tunes and Bafe in the mall? Yeah, we had they remember Sound Shop. Yeah, we had Sound Shop. Sound yeah. Shop. Yeah. Look, y'all yeah. had Line Wire, all that shit. But anyway, look, look. Bro, I'm a nigga that had a shit. Bro, I knew I wanted to be a rapper when I was about six. I don't know. I don't know to, to, to when I start. They were about when, when I was about. When you start recording. Like, I'm going to get. I'm, yeah. I'm, and when you become too hot. I'm, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm get to it. I'm going to get to it. Look, 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 look. look. I knew I wanted to be a rapper, but I ain't know how to rap. You feel what I'm saying? I was just, I, I, I was just fascinated by the video. You know, now they got the video where they just got a bunch of guns, bunch of guns and dudes. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was fascinated. I was fascinated by, you know how Mass B hit, you know, you know how they had, he rolled tight wheels every day. You know they had the. Rarries yeah. and all that, Cash Money, them had the everybody get your roll on. Mm -hmm. you, you remember that shit? They they doing donuts in the lamp. I said, I'm I'm looking at that shit like, damn, I want that shit. And bruh, it's like once I got to like fifth grade, Nelly came. I, I remember man, it was the summer I was going to the fifth grade. My cousin Tony them, they all dressed. They all like the dress. You feel what I'm saying? They they like the name brand hip shit, man. The Air Force One song came out. And I'm like, what is Air Force One? So I see Tony doing a song. I see everybody rocking song. I'm like, you gotta give me some. Yeah. But look, look, we gonna cut that part short. On back to, on back to the rap. From then I wanted to be like that. You feel what I'm saying? Start, start really writing around when I was like. Six, seven, I say seven, seven grade. You feel what I'm saying? Seven grade. But I ain't take this shit serious. I was just bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't take this shit serious because you, y'all remember the shit. Um, he up in my white tee. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We wore uniforms. So we made he up in my uniform. He up in my units. You know what I'm saying? We just kids, just yeah, bullshit. Me, right. Pep, and dude, I ain't Marie. But when I really took it serious, around I was 15, bro. We, we, we gonna make it short. I was 15. End up, I was in high school, I was like, what, 19 grade? One of them, you know. Got sent to alternative school. And like, that ain't no good thing. Anybody watching, like, that ain't no good thing. The kid, that ain't no good thing. You feel what I'm saying? That, that, that ain't cool. You feel me? But it wasn't because of me, but that's out the way. We, uh, look, look, it wasn't because of me, but it was because of me. But we uh we in our turn to school and I run across JT. You know what I'm saying? Our turn to school for the little bad kid, they say. I run across JT when I know which I knew JT from the hood though. You feel me? But we weren't just tight like that, you feel what I'm saying? We weren't just tight like that. End up we in our turn to school, so we got him. We in the same class, so we got him. Get to know each other, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We around each other every day. It's like from the first day. See, I, me knowing from the hood, they just like me knowing you. You know what I'm saying? I see you. Ah, right, what's up? I don't see you. It's like, okay. You feel me? You're being real. You know how you know how I go. But anyway, me and that nigga, somehow, man, we just became close. You feel what I'm saying? And that was kind of, now that I'm older and I realize more, very real talk. Now that, now, now that I realize more, I idolized dude. You feel what I'm saying? There was another one of my idols. And he was a what? A couple months younger than me. You know what I'm saying? But for him to be 15, he was so he was so street advanced. Yeah. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? Like I I man, I'm talking about he was so street advanced. He he talked. He talked like he was already 25. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? You know, back when you 15, you don't want to walk up nobody. Hey, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, man? Have a good day. Shake your hand. You, you think that shit like, nah, that's some way ass shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, you want to be because the nigga like, what's up? I ain't gonna fight the nigga, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang handshake shit. Yeah. But, dude, like, he was all that though. Gang, being in mind, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? And, and like, I remember nights. Nice he used to leave, come back like three in the morning. We gotta go to school, nigga. Mom, not no more. No, 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 no. 
Oh, oh, no, man. Oh, no, J, JT. Come back. He come in there. Pull out his mug. Told you we were going to eat. Told you we were going to eat. Yeah. We 15, bro. I don't even know what this means. Yeah, we yeah. told you we were going to eat. Yeah. I just know, okay, you got some money. You finna go buy something. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But you really advanced. Yeah. You feel all I, my, my mama was there for me. I'm 15, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your mama, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say mama was there for him, but he was there for himself. Faster, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He it, yeah. yeah, he was there for himself. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But the way this nigga rap, back to the rap, and what made me take it serious? Man, the way that nigga rap, bro, he he was a young Tupac. You feel what I'm saying? I remember a song he did, he was, he was about six, who, who, who was that? About 16. Who about 16? Him and Lil Quint. Like, this nigga 16. I understand Young Boy came out with the, you know, you, you got some 16 year olds that bands like that. You feel what I'm saying? And he probably one of them too. But, when you 16, you rapping, you rapping about, I got a gun and I, I got some free clothes back then. You feel what I'm saying? But this nigga come on, been grinding for a long time. Get a lot of money, young nigga stay stacking, two, four, five, got my damn pants sagging, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. And then I'm talking about, hey, they come with, they come with the hook. Money over bitches, nigga, we getting it in. You know what I'm saying? We fixing it. I don't know about that. Yeah. And I'm talking about mine. They rocking that motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm talking about, i never forget this shit. I, I remember the day he dropped that bitch. I had Jay got my first cell phone. Real talk from Nokia. Verizon Wireless. But it was a little Nokia. But look, he went to Jump Boy House and dropped that shit, bro. And the way he just used to present himself, I'm talking about, he just out the blue. We, we all sitting there having an interview. He just busting it, be beating on the door. Rap. Where my nigga too? I don't know. It was, but he saying some. Like he saying some shit you would listen to. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, dude, dude. I wasn't there rapping in front of nobody. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, hell yeah, no, I'd be shamed, man. <laughs> but I saw that nigga doing that shit, man. With no problem. Young, young dude. When he made Sugar Room wrote me a rap, I ain't stopped. Yeah. And, and, and shout out to Lil Mike. Cause Lil Mike really put me on that shit, recording this shit too, at first. Feel what I'm saying? Lil Mike, T Bone, Free T Bone. T Bone locked up, JT locked up too. But uh, T Bone, Don Low, really, I started recording around when I was. It was a little, it was a little high school. Once I graduated, you know, I ain't want to work no job, and I still don't, you feel, because I believe in myself, you know what I'm saying, I ain't want to work no job, as soon as I graduated, jump straight into the street, worst mistake I ever made, man, when I say worst mistake, worst addiction ever made, worst, I tell anybody, <laughs> I, I, you know I ain't lying? Am I lying? Man, when I say, bro, when you, when, man, I ain't talking about no, no, okay, jumping in the streets where I'm shooting and killing nobody. I ain't mm -hmm. talking about that. You know what I'm saying? But just jumping in the streets, man. The worst mistake you can make, man. Worst time, man, you lost time. You done lost all kind of shit. Thank you, grown. You feel what I'm saying? Man. End up. That way you think you grown come in it. You feel what I'm saying? That way you think you grown come in it. Thinking you grown. That way you think you grown come in it. Mama can't tell you shit. You feel like mama can't tell you shit. You feel me? One reason you feel like she can't tell you shit because of how she's saying it. You need to get your ass a job. You feel like she's supposed to see it like Please go get a job, baby. No. You feel what I'm saying? And, and now that I'm wiser, you feel what I'm saying? Now that I know better, I used to think, man, I'm going to hate me. But, man, she just didn't want me to be a victim to these motherfucking streets, bro. And I had shit. You feel me? To where when she leave, like she, she gone now. To where when she leave, her song going to be... You, you can start recording that shit. But to, to where... When she leave, 
Her son ain't gonna know where to go left, right, up or down. Feel me? She just wanted, man, she just wanted me to be something. But, like I was saying, jumped out of high school, got in the street, mama couldn't tell me shit, ended up, my hook ain't telling me shit, I'm doing bullshit at the house, police coming over there, blah, blah, like, I ain't the perfect boy, motherfucker, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't here to flick like, oh, I had a hard life, you know what I'm saying, No. Nah. but, it was a bad relationship, it became a bad relationship, but, I remember this one, one, one particular day, you know what I'm saying? And I had recorded with Tay before in high school, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't taking it seriously. This one particular day, me and mom had a big ass, you know what I'm saying? With the neighbors and shit. I'm, I'm in tour with the neighbors. She on the neighbor side, you know what I'm saying? But I was in the wrong, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, I was in the wrong, you feel me? But, had a big ass argument. And Tay just so happened to pull up at Troy House. Troy State. Troy State right across the street. Tay see all the commotion. He just asked me. He just, I walked over there. Said, bro, you wanna go to the studio? Bro, I'm free. Yeah, Tay, when I say When he asked me that, you wanna go to the studio? I already got shit, bro. Let go. Man, we went to that gym, we dropped like 17 songs in one day. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm exaggerating. We dropped like straight, we dropped like 10 or 11. That's a long time to be in the studio. You know how long? Hey, man, that's a, you in the studio, what? See, people who ain't rapping, who want to rap, they think, oh, you just gonna go in here and drop 15 minutes. And yeah, you can do that. You can drive, you feel what I'm saying? And you might make something out of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? But it, it, it ain't going to work for everybody. Nah. Man, when you in the studio, man, you, you one song going to take you, what, two hours, three hours? Song take, what, an hour at the most, but you ain't even record it, right? You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, man, we get to drop it, man. It was just on from there. It was just on from there, man. What would I tell the artist that's trying to come in the game right now? Be original, like this. This just the rapping part, rapping and singing part. Be original. Be willing to take a loss, but in order to take a loss, man, you gotta get up and get some. Like you got to get up and get some. This shit is not gonna fall out the sky. But it's easy now. It's easy now, they with the YouTube and all that. But it ain't gonna be easy. You ain't got the support system. And I'm gonna tell you what some people fall off when it comes to support. When people come, when it comes to people supporting them, they fall off by getting big headed. You feel what I'm saying? Shitting on the motherfuckers who was who were there for them. When they, it, it, ain't, it ain't even just there. It just they shitting on the motherfuckers who were clicking the share button. You feel what I'm saying? They doing all that. They they. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Anyway, anyway, I don't know what I'm looking for on that part. But, another thing, like the main thing, man, you got to have some money. You ain't got to show nobody what you got. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Show them what you're doing with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like me. I ain't, the, I ain't the richest motherfucker, I ain't the poorest motherfucker either. But when it comes to that, when it comes to putting money, investing into myself. You really got to believe in yourself. You got to believe, believe in yourself, man. Nah. You got to believe in your damn self. If you don't believe in yourself, who really going to believe in so what give you that drive just to like, you know, or just really make you believe in yourself, you know? Because most artists, you know what I'm saying, they'll say they're artists and they'll complain about people not supporting them, but they ain't did nothing to support, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what give you that drive, you think? What, what just drive you to like take yourself serious as an artist? Because you gotta finish what you start. I ain't finna be no, oh, he was. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing it, he yeah. used to be. Nah, I don't care if I gotta do this shit till I'm 35. 
I can make it some way. I can write for somebody. Yeah. I can, I can, I can switch to R and B. I can switch my genre. I can switch to pop music, which I'm already doing that now. Music is music. Music bro. is music. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? I got a mind for it. I ain't gotta sit and write about me in the trap all day, cause I don't like it anyway. Yeah. You feel? I don't like talking about that anyway, because that ain't even creative. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't gotta talk about getting money. Everybody don't, don't can't even relate to money. You got motherfuckers in Africa dancing to shit, just you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about shit about no money, no diamonds, no nothing. If they talk, I got a mind. I got a mind for it, and that that's what drives me. I I got to let the world see this shit. You feel what I'm saying? I got to let the world see this shit. Now, for this having all the funds to do. Like I meant to say, in order, I mean not in order, but for this having all the funds to bring my imagination to real life, I ain't got that right now. But when I'm able, when I'm able, man, you gonna see something. You gonna see something.